Welcome all. This is out. My Tiktronics 485 oscilloscope failed after almost 17 years of use. The oscilloscope is not powering up. The power keeps starting then shut off. And the good thing, I have the service manual for this one. And I believe this will be very useful as a guideline. You may think why I need to watch a video of repairing an oscilloscope. In fact, this is not just about repairing oscilloscope. This is more about repairing and troubleshooting principles, which can be applied on any other electronics repair. It's about getting dead device and making it work. And as per the manual troubleshooting steps, this can be caused by a number of reasons will shut down the power supply. Balance node uh, input can be one of the causes. This input through a set of resistors uh, in circuit keeps monitoring a voltage balance of some positive voltages against other negative uh, voltages. If any of these voltages went out of range, uh, the input voltage at pin 2 will either rise above 200 millivolt or drop under minus 200 millivolt. Depends if the fault at positive voltage uh, side or at negative voltage side and cause shutdown. I scope all these voltages during the on period uh, time uh, which is around uh, 20 millisecond and all uh, these voltages showing correct level uh, as we can uh, see. So we can see here uh, plus 5 volt then uh, plus 9 volt Uh, plus 25 volt and plus 120 volt then minus 5 volt and minus 9 volt finally minus 15 volt So, this is not the reason. We have here also other protection parameters activating the same input. The high voltage over current plus high beam current 
uh, as well in fact I already disconnected this high voltage tube cable and there is procedure provided in the manual to disconnect and bend pin 3 at COM U connector uh, which will isolate the high current at high voltage section this all was performed but no change was uh, observed a current limit protection can cause the voltage uh, regulator uh, shutdown at pin 13 of regulator IC this will keep monitoring any short or high current at all the uh, regulated output voltages in fact tantalum capacitors can go short and cause problem I have checked all the capacitors on all the boards none of them showing short only uh, this one showed short connection uh, because this one is connected in fact to ground at both sides as a circuit uh, requirement so no issue the other point I have probed all the regulated voltages and all showing close to the correct voltage level during the 20 millisecond on period the voltages include the 180 volt 120 volt 59.4 uh, volt 25 volt uh, plus and minus 15 volt plus and minus 5.5 uh, volt Uh, therefore no way for these to cause the problem not only that in fact this indicates clearly that the regulator is trying to regulate the voltages correctly but something else is shutting it down and there is a big possibility some failure or fault at the mains input line monitoring protection this protection circuit it protect the system and limit the turn on surge current and it managed to shut down the power regulator at safe and controlled uh, manner in case when power switched off or the mains AC power input fails below normal level here some brief explanation on how this works and then we will continue the troubleshooting we have simplified sketch here to show the internal uh, circuit so when this point at pin 3 of power regulator IC which is connected also to the collector of internal 
MPN transistor. When this point go to more positive volt, this will shut down the regulator through the inverter control. So, in order to keep the regulator running, we should not allow this point to stay positive. Now, what is happening here, in normal operation, this capacitor will get charged all the time by the 7.5 volt through this resistor. So, pin 3 will go positive. But at the same time, we get positive pulses at every AC cycle generated from this transformer to the base of the transistor, which will keep switching on the transistor at every cycle. So the transistor will keep discharging the capacitor. So the volt at pin 3 and collector side will stay low and this will allow the regulator to keep running. And if the AC power switched off or went too low, the pulses at the base will disappear and the capacitor will go full charged and this will shut down the regulator as this point will stay positive. So the right approach here I will scope both the base signal at point 4 against the collector signal at point 3 and let's see what's going on. Guess what? Here, the first thing you can notice, no any 50 Hz signal appears. My mains power is 240 volt AC at 50 Hz. And this signal should be driven from the secondary of the transformer. While the primary is directly connected to main AC line input. So from the first look, we are missing the 50 Hz signal which should drive the base of MPN internal transistor as explained before. This appearing pulses here is just coming from the 7.5 volt from the main regulator as it go on. We need to check now the availability of the 50 Hz signal starting at the primary side uh, of the transformer and then secondary side. Good. So at primary winding side, signal is available. Let's move to secondary side. nothing is there and here I believe we reached to the root cause so it could be that this transformer is faulty but when I inspected closely I expect that one of winding wire of secondary is broken and not connected to the legs of the transformer anyhow I will remove the transformer and try to do some repair. Uh, then let's see the results.
great. As you can see, it is powering up normal and the oscilloscope is live now. It will be good idea to check the missing signals and see how it looks like now. Yes, we can see the 50 Hz signal going to pin 4, so to the base of internal transistor. And the voltage at the collector side gets continuous discharged. So, the voltage there stays low. And power regulator stays on. Thanks for watching.